Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Wagner, and today I'm going to talk about abnormal pap smears. It's a common thing to get an abnormal pap, very, very common. It's also a very common for people to have a lot of anxiety about it, um, which some of, a lot of which is unnecessary. Um, so, very quickly, when we do a pap smear, basically it's getting a smear of cervical cells from the surface of the cervix. It gets spread on a slide. Sometimes they do it some different ways now, but essentially look at the cells and see how abnormal they are. They're either normal, slightly abnormal, low grade, or high grade. So we put the abnormal pap smears into these different categories. So when you get a call, um, if you do get a call saying that you have abnormal PAP, there's a bunch of different possibilities. The first one is called an ASCUS PAP, and it's abnormal cells of undetermined significance. Okay, We don't worry too much about this because it's a very low grade, it's just undetermined, but what we do do, and this is going off the prior talk about HPV, is when we do this in women under 30, when we do PAPs in women under 30, we don't always do HPV testing because HPV is so common, but what we do do is what we call a reflex. So if you get an ASCUS pap smear, we go on to test whether the HPV is positive or the HPV is negative. Okay? Now, if your HPV is negative when you get a pap smear, this is normal. Okay? It's essentially a normal pap. You may have a little bit of inflammation or something, but there's nothing that needs to be done. When you have a positive HPV on the ASCUS, that means that this may be more of an issue. So in that case, very often either we'll repeat the pap smear in a year, or if it's a high-risk HPV type, like 16 or 18, very often your doctor will talk about doing a colposcopy, which we'll talk about in the next video. The other readings that are becoming increasingly more abnormal is a low grade pap smear. So the cells can be abnormal, but it's a low grade abnormality. For this, most of the time, we'll do a colposcopy. Or a high grade abnormality, which becomes more worrisome. Now, just to reassure everyone, when you get a reading like this, it's extremely, extremely unusual for it to be cancer or precancer. These are the kind of abnormalities, especially the ASCUS and the low grade, that if you didn't do anything over 10 years, they could get worse and worse. But as long as you keep an eye on them, you make sure that they regress, and in normal young healthy people, they usually do. In other words, you can have a low grade lesion, next year you can have a PAP, and you can have a totally normal lesion. Uh, excuse me, a totally normal PAP smear. So what happens is, just like the skin, um, just like your skin cells, they're constantly sloughing off and reforming. Same thing with the cervix. So as long as you're young and healthy, you ha can have an abnormal pap, and then it, you know all the cells slip off, they reform, and especially if the HPV gets cleared in your body, then the next year you can have a normal pap, okay? The next thing we're gonna talk about in the next video is what happens with this, this, and this, is that we get a colposcopy. The important thing to realize is that when you get some of these readings, you get an abnormal pap, it doesn't mean cervical cancer, it doesn't mean that you have to have a procedure done, it doesn't mean that you're always going to have abnormal paps. Okay, it just means that we have to look a little further and make sure there's nothing worse going on.